Praise God. Imagine somebody slept with a true light and woke. By the time he woke from that sleep, he was blind. He could not explain how he became blind. But he cannot also deny. So when we say press into God, we are saying press into your destiny. <laughs> because life is spiritual. And the implication that we have on you is that there will be many things around you, many things happening to you that you cannot escape. At the same time, you will not be able to deny that they are happening. If you refuse to be spiritual and you ended up becoming a victim of witchcraft, maybe a witch now kill you, they were doing testing, they now kill you in the process. You have died. The next day, the witch can come to God and say, Father, have mercy. And the witch will make heaven. Meanwhile, even when the witch killed you, if you have died in sin, you go to hell. The witch will go to heaven. So, who, who is at lost? Who is on the loser side? The one that died. The one that died. It will now mean that our true security is what? Spirituality. To this end, I would like to conclude that spirituality now becomes our true security. Life is spiritual. I checked it. When you give your life to Christ, all your sins, the record of your sins, God has deleted it. But the ancestors in your family, they have the record. The implication of that statement is this. Though God has deleted it, they have their own record. They can still bring that thing and occasion a case against you. But what will now define your victory is the fact that you are on the Lord's side. Now your consistency in following God. Are you with me? You have given your life to Christ. All those things you have done, you have killed someone before, you have done this. God has deleted it. But the People in the lineage, they have the record. It's still fresh. So it is now your consistency on the part of that God that you know that will define victory for you. So I checked the status of his sister yesterday. And I saw you were there. The clothes you wore. I don't know how the clothes traveled, but I know that the clothes must have traveled. The clothes traveled from this to this place. And this was supposed to be a prophetess. The air on the earth got to this place. So that was the profile picture. The picture, the status picture of water, that was the picture. Now, the question is this. If we call you a prophetess and that thing is your picture, what are you, huh? what kind of light? It will mean that at a point she was not like that. See, it's possible for you to be going straight with God. And at a point, if you are not careful, you go, you go like this. It's you that will determine, you will choose, it's a choice. That's why I told you that your record with God, the sinful record, he has deleted it. But certain principalities they hold, they have the record. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's a need for you to be what? Spiritual. There's a, it's, it's very important. There's a need. I'm telling us this so that if we are going to pray today, we will pray, we will press. Some of you, you will pray today like you have never prayed before. You will, you will so pray that you, if you get to point, you say, <laughs> you will have to hold it better. <laughs> you will pray. You will pray. If a witch kills you and you die, you have died. Is your your case is closed. The witch will make heaven if he surrenders to Jesus the second day. It's your own case that is closed. The reason you are not spiritual to secure your destiny now, you will. Meanwhile, if you are if you now die in sin, you go to hell. 
are you, are, are you with me? The, the witch that killed you now gave his life to Christ the next day. You will find the witch in heaven. Can you see how life is? This is why you must be so spiritual that it will be so difficult for the devil to use you as a specimen. They want to check something in their coven and it's your life they want to use. Let's see how this thing will, will, will look. Let's see how it will, it will look like on human beings. They now pick you because you don't have fire. You just discover you are sleeping, you are choking. They are doing practical in your life. It's when they release you, you will not even be able to call Jesus. It's when they release you that will be released, that you will be released. You now come to church and say, Father, I have a testimony. I have a testimony that uh, I was choking last night, but I could not even call Jesus for the mercy of God, the mercy of God. You will thank God for the mercy of God, but something is wrong with your life. This is what I'm saying now. It's not true. Huh? Your true security is in spirituality. The person that will become your enemy, you may not do anything for the person. Because I just hate the person, this person for no reason. That's an enemy. There are many people that have died for no reason. Out of I just hate him for no reason, they kill the person. And the person that killed that one is still on head, walking freely. Nothing happened. Someone say I will pray. I will pray. Can you make can you make this a, a can you cry this prayer for this one is not prayer? You cry it. You 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 cry this prayer and say, Father, help my spirituality. Open the chambers of my spirit to receive your fullness in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer? Can you pray? Open the chambers of my spirit to receive your fullness in the name of Jesus. Jesus, they wanted to kill him. So that you know how to pray. See, if they 
the first thing they come to your room this night and they want to do practical. Will they, will, will they succeed? Do you have that enough fire that can make their plan ineffective? So they trapped Jesus. They trapped him. That was the Jesus that died for your sins. The Son of God. They trapped him. And they, 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 they followed him to a mountain. He said, Today we will push you down from this mountain. You see the Bible. See that. And they began to push it. They began to push it. You will die today. Meanwhile, this guy is the destiny of Jesus was to die on the cross, not to fall down from the mountain. If you ever allow the wicked one to succeed over your life, you will not be destiny. Because they wanted to push him down from the mountain. And they were pushing, they were pushing, they were pushing. When it got to a point, suddenly, everybody freeze. And Jesus was passing in their midst. Somebody said spirituality. That's the security. Say, Father. The man of God shared his experience. Some months to his wedding, they shot him with several bullets. The clothes, the suit he wore, there was cold on the suit, but the bullet disappeared. It's not sharp. It's not sharp. That's spiritual security. Can you pray again and say, Father? Open my spiritual chambers to receive your fullness. I refuse to be carnal. Help me to be spiritual. Help me to carry your fullness. In the name of Jesus. Can you pray? 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm not alive. Quench my spiritual hunger. Ordinary water will not quench my tears. <laughs> Give me, Lord, your liquid fire. Hey! Just to quench my spiritual hunger. Ordinary water will not quench my tears. <laughs> Give me, Lord, your liquid fire. Just to quench my spiritual hunger. Ordinary water will not quench my tears. Give me Lord, give me Lord, your liquid fire. Just to quench my spiritual hunger. Ordinary water will not quench my tears. Give me Lord, 
Give me love, your liquid fire. Just to quench my spiritual hunger. Under the water, we not pray. My day. Hallelujah. You go to a time in the scripture, something happened. Something happened. You go to read the scripture. Let me just show you a physical illustration of something that happened. Um, are you with me? Please pay attention. I told some people in the morning, they said, and they sent a group of assassins to Benson Dauza to kill him. And those people came with sophisticated weapons. When I say sophisticated weapons, um, I mean weapons that are heavy to kill him. Meanwhile, when they came to him, he was attending to some people, he was talking with them. And the distance was like from here to here. So he was in this place and he was discussing with them. And they appeared with their, with their weapons. I'm telling you a real life story. And they appeared with their weapons. They said, we have been sent to kill you. He said, me? He said, yes. He said, okay. Let me finish what I'm discussing. He said, wait, don't come close. Just stay here. I'm coming. He began to talk. He began to talk. Real life. He began to talk. He began to talk. He began to talk. Suddenly, he got angry in their spirit. I said, where are the boys? He said, they were there. He said, come, come to me. They were coming. He was going to them. <laughs> you carry God. <laughs> For God that they don't carry God. He's coming to you. You will not run away. He was saying, where are the boys? He just told anger. Where are the boys? And he was moving. And they were not moving. That was how they disappeared. If you were the one who to Jesus, Father. I quickly went out before I came in today. I went to buy something. And as we're coming, a, this, this keken appeared just. Just. My, I don't know how. And there was a gutter, this, this big one there. If we fall into the gutter, Something will happen. But how the bike man passed through that place, I don't know. The, the Kekena Affair just, just came to that bike that I was on I was on the bike. The only thing we, I knew was that the, 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 the bike was at the front of the Kekena Affair. I was now looking back that if we had fallen into this place, even the bike man wanted to fight. I said, go, go. Your true security is your spirituality. Don't be, don't lose your guard. Don't live a careless life that a demon will come and be doing specimen with your life. Say, let us check this charm. You are reading, have you, you must have heard some cases of some people reading and they went mad. So, have you read it before? Somebody may say, don't read too much or you go mad. It's not true. It's a specimen. This life you came is just one. Don't let one demon now come to change, manipulate your destiny. Say, Father, open my spiritual chamber. I, I need your fullness. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying already? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? I Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's test. 
The tested is okay, he has wrong man, they believe him as well. Jesus entered into the temple, he saw a woman that a demonic practice was happening on the woman. That, and Jesus said, said Woman, <laughs> then thou art deceived. This, this one is still a descendant of Abraham, but she had been baptized in this house for many years, and she grew. Satan, she was bounded by Satan for many years as she was in the temple. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Look at, pay attention. There is a. I don't even know what destiny is. Well, destiny is a child in the stomach that you bet in the place of prayer. Before Jesus went to the cross, he went to the place of prayer and he betted the destiny. The Bible said the, 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 the fashion, the, the sweat was like drop of blood. He betted it. He betted, he betted the destiny in the place of prayer. He betted it. Any destiny you cannot bet in the place of prayer cannot become the reality in the place of prayer. You will only be living about it and be wanting to be you cannot become it. Because this life is what is spiritual. Because life is spiritual, many things will happen like that and you will not be able to explain. Father, I'm going to pray. Jesus. Some of you that are still comfortable where you are seated, when the fire comes on you, you will not be able to find a place you can pray well. Say Jesus. 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 Give me your fullness. Give me your fullness. Give me your fullness. I refuse to be used as a specimen for demonic practice. In the name of Jesus. Give me your fullness, oh God. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you press into that reality? Give me your fullness. Ya no mana kosha na mana. Ire de mene kosu mana. En ka ka to sha.
They are getting there. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Break. The yoke. 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 Break. 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 Break it. Break it. I command the yoke. I don't want to know how long it has been staying in your life. To deal with the end. Break in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's the yoke. We are going to first time now. In the name to start all every other day. <laughs> Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, and every tongue of this must confess that Jesus is Lord. I command the yoke to break. No, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. let's have some fire for you. Uh -huh. Holy Spirit, oh God. Let your fire descend. Let your fire descend. Let it 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 From Thursday to now, from Thursday to now, you had a dream, and in that dream, you saw yourself having sex. In that dream, do you have anybody like that? 
the first one, you saw yourself having dream, having sex in that dream, or somebody brought something to you, like a prepared food, and you ate it. It's a yoke that the enemy wants to cast on you. Do we have people like that? So that we can pray for you. They brought food for you in the dream. And you ate it. Or you had a dream and you had sex in that dream. Do we have anybody like that? Do we have anybody like that? Father will bless you for the yokes that you have broken. Thank you, Jesus, because deliverance has come to your people. Let your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus. I pray for these ones. That Lord, you will keep them safe from every form of demonic oppression. In the name of Jesus. Father, break every stronghold. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. Exalt. In Jesus' name we are praying. Thank you.